Are you awaiting the next generation of bases? Today I present you the next generation of 4x4s. This is highly affordable, with three walls to loot, and features a brand new footprint that you've not seen before. The included features of this base are mountain roof style peaks, which shoots down the compound, new meta game shooting floor, turret coverage throughout the whole base, including respawns on every floor, spacious open core, and next generation of defendable walls. This defendable wall gives you 360 degrees of peaks inside and outside a compound with multiple respawns. You also are able to section this off to prevent people from taking control over it during a raid. I present to you, the Oasis. Let's get on with the tour. So we got many storage of spectacles. We haven't seen these yet. So basically what you do is put a square foundation. Put a roof. And disconnect these so you can replace your main PCs. Reconnect them. Delete the roof. Put your triangles back. Upgrade them to your desired grade. You're good to go. This will be your upkeep between all four TCs. This is including the wall as well. Go into these hay houses. So you got an entrance here. Some peaks into the other section. You also have some peaks going out. Open up this door. Um, we'd like to put some boxes with some like tier two kits. Like, uh, has these. So we come in an outside bag if we're getting ready. We can come right in, grab a tier two kit, and defend our base. Uh, you got some also some Trico peaks here. Really nice peaks for defending. Beauty about this, she got some outside defendability. She got some breach peaks. So this is kind of like a base on a base. So this can be completely sealed. And you can run around the whole thing without anybody getting in. If you do get in, we do have garage doors where you can section people off if you desire. what it looks like from the outside. I'll show you some more of the peaks. Defendability peaks back to compound here. So go back to your base. Pull the peaks here. Also have some bedrooms up here on each side. Peaks outside. Some breach peaks. Some breach back in your compound. We also have on each gatehouse, you have these quick little peaks right here. Come in here, get on her without even having to leave your base. Also, same thing with some breach peaks. Plenty of turret coverage, as you can see. All right, let's get back into the main base. So we got some defendability here in the compound, going around. show so on this side this side will take you up get some peaks into your inner peaks these are just some shoots that'll take you all the way up to your inner peaks and then going back down here they mirror each other so this side will mirror the side over here this side is just a quick entrance just to come into the inner peaks. Going into your starter unit, just your basic 2x2. Two two. You can lay it out however you like to lay it out. This is how I prefer to lay it out. Gives you plenty of room, plenty of box storage, early game, plenty of bag storage. It's your main TC upkeep. Traditional, you know, inner peaks, 4x4 four four inner peaks, nothing special here. Um, we do give you some bedrooms in here. I like to put boxes up top. 
So four swipe, you don't have a block of BP. At least you can get some boxes up there, get some kits, defend your base. Same thing on this side, some bedrooms. This will take you to the open core. You got some peaks going into your open core. Some hidden loot box storage right here. Furnaces, mixing table. You want to make some quick ammo while you're in open core. Pretty quick and simple. So you got your bed, locker, and battery right here. This mirrors on all four corners of the base. And here's your open core. Spacious, plenty of boxes. They put these shotgun traps. A lot of people don't notice them. And can slow down the raiders. Come on top. Your shooting floor. Great angles into your compound. Outside of compound. All throughout. Plenty of crazy angles. Different angles. Turret coverage. You also have some peaks right here. This also gives you your bedrooms. Each four corners has bedrooms like this. Easy to traverse throughout the base. Plenty of peaks. Um, you can make this whatever you like. Let it do drop boxes and our electric furnaces. On the roof, you can fit scrappies up here. You can fit two on this platform and some extra minis if you want. Um, turret coverage everywhere. You also got these peaks right here, too. Uh, some extra bedroom respawns up top and down. If you're getting top down, also you can get some peaks up here outside of compound. Really nice peaks. And it's the same in all four corners. Also got these quick shoots right here. Pretty easy to use, just go down. Simple. I like to use those when we're defending a base. These as well. Got some quick shoots right here. Throw these, ladder. Take you all the way up the shooting floor. Alright, that's all. It's a tour. Get onto the build. All right, start the build. Do a basic two by two. Force ground foundations. I'll complete the end. Do a temporary half wall and floor with twig. Let's do this end. So that complete the end. We'll use a double door. So. TC in the left corner. Place a triangle. And then you can delete this or keep it however you like to do it. I prefer to use large furnaces or small furnaces, excuse me. Get some hop ups. There you go. It's a basic starter. The reason I like to use far small furnaces, by the way, if you're wondering, is uh, early game, especially with force wipe. Don't have BPs, so nice to get the extra double door down there. So if you need a way up, you can do this on all four sides or just one. Just build two frames, half all it, leave it wood, and you can hatchet it out later. Alright, so to continue the build, just want to go around the 2x2 two two with square foundations. So, I just want to pause the video for a second. If you do want to add a couple bunkers to this base, you can do that too. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So. Do, only do this on two sides so pick whatever side east west south north doesn't matter where you start with the only thing is you, the size you have the bunker is only going to be the quick entrance it can't be the ramp entrances i'll show you why um, so basically all you want to do is the same build out you do one square then go one two three four five look down hit that you want to kind of try to snap this one to you like so, delete this build up. Test the top of wood. Take a couple boxes or one box. You just want to test it. Place it in the middle. 
it's in the middle, look to your left, kind of snap it in. Like that. Same thing on this side. So it snaps in like that. Like I said, make sure you do this with wood first, just to make sure you got the pixel right. Then you find, look down here with a weapon. You see open, you open it, good to go. You can also fit three boxes here. So you can do one here, one here, and you can do one in the middle, just like so. The reason you wanna do it on the side, with the quick shoots in, instead of the ones that have the shoots going up to open core, is cause you'll just have the double door entrances. So it'll be like this. It'll allow you to get in and out pretty easily. The only thing you have to do on this side is you have to put um, stone barricades on the outside. So you'll be able to get back in. Just like that. Next on each side, north, east, south, west, you're going to put two square foundations on each side, like so. Like this, and then each corner, so it should be four, you'll do a square, square, and then delete the first square. Square, square, delete first square. Square, square, delete first square. And then one more time, just like that. All right, for the video, I will be building a symmetry as much as I can to speed up the video. Um, if you need to slow it down or pause, you know, do so. Uh, but I'll try to take it as slow as possible and explain it the best as I can. All right, so each side's gonna mirror the other side. So the west is gonna mirror the east, the north is gonna mirror the south. So it doesn't matter where you start on this part, you can start either side. Um, so we're gonna start here. So we're gonna do a double door frame, double door frame, window on the outside, and wall this completely in. Seal it off. As you see, it's complete same. It's mirrored image on that side. So we'll do this side. So half wall, wall, hop over. Put a wall here, door, ceiling above your head, window, roof, and do walls all the way around again, just like so. Have a wall here, or a ceiling here, a ceiling here, here, do a half wall there, so this completely in, the ceiling above you. Leave this one wood for now. Hatchet this out later. All right. So you drop down each four corner. I'm gonna go three up. Do half our double door frames. Two of them. Half wall. Window. Square frame. Delete the half wall. Place the window. Also, early game. If you're wanting to, if you don't have ladder or ladder hack, you can always use twig build up to make your way up top. Just like so. That way you have a way to your inner peaks from the outside. After you get that done, we're going to seal this 2x2 two two off. Just completely seal that off. I like to use furnaces again. But research bench, workbench, it doesn't really matter. However you prefer. Then you put a square ladder hatch. All right, coming up here. So what I like to do is I like to do one another. So one side will be a window or a double door. And one side will be a window. Double door, window. So it's completely. Up. It's like so. Here we can start this. Like so. so this side. I'm gonna seal this off. All on the outside, half boss. So then it with ceilings. We'll do a double door, a ceiling, or half walls, and you get your triangles up. What you want to do is you just want to seal this completely. Next thing you want to do, because these will be decaying, you come outside to do half walls. Keep the 
this from decaying. Next, we want to do the externals. We can get that compound down. It's going to be the same on all four sides. So do three squares. Connect with the triangle. One half on the back. Do one, two, three on the right side, and two on the left side. Delete the excess triangles. Come back. Do two square foundations. Just like so. Next, we're going to go back to the middle. I want to build out four squares, two, six triangles, half moon, square foundation, four triangles. Seal this up for your TC. So I'm going to start with two windows here, one down this side, this is the side of the triangles, a single door here, two square foundations, two triangle foundations, one window on each side of those, double door frames, wall on each outside, seal this in, ceilings, like so, on the outside, do two half walls. on the front half. So, three windows there. One to your left, one to your right. Double door frame. And seal this half in. Jump up and seal this so you want that gap. And then fill that gap in with the walls. Your ceilings on both sides, left and right. And place your triangle roofs. Let me show you how to do the barricades real quick. So you just do this build out in the twig. Go on one corner, that back right corner, I like to try to place in the middle of the middle triangle. And on the opposite side, try to do the back left leg in the middle of the triangle. Delete the excess build up. You also can place two on each square foundation as well. Or square roofs, sorry. Next we're gonna do your compound. I like to do my uh, wall build out just to help me get the guarantee the compound each time. So we'll do that. Usually I do it in twig or wood and then upgrade that later. So we'll go ahead and build that out. So we'll do a triangle, square, triangle, square, six triangles, triangle, two on the right, and then one square. The same thing on this side. This will mirror every side, so it'd be completely the same. So do triangle, square, triangle, square, six triangles, triangle, two left, square right. Place compound. All you gonna do is run over here, go to the front of this square foundation, look left, there's blue, you'll feel it kind of catch, you place. Don't move, look right. Pull it in until it catches. Place. Run to the middle of the triangle. Same thing. Pull it in until you feel it stop. Place. I like to run back over to make sure I get it centered. Do the same thing on this side. So, top of this triangle. Look left until it catches. Place. Look left without moving. Pull it until it stops. Place. Middle of this triangle, pull it to a stop, place, left, pull it to a stop, place, come back to this middle triangle, pull it to a stop, place. This one's going to be kind of tricky, so our experience comes in just to know how far the gap needs to be. You can stand in the middle of the two. Kind of alt look and look. Place. 
in place. And you'll get the perfect compound every time. After you get compound down, you want to start working on main base. So we'll get rid of these. Look to your left. Open the window. Open behind you. Ceiling. Open door frame. Another ceiling. Half walls here. Windows here. Half wall. Two windows above. Door frame. Ceiling. And cap it off. Cap walls on the ceiling. Place your doors. Your braziers. going in and out base you want to do two half walls like this on this side double door frame and down double door frame and away just getting that done I'm going to head up to here to the top put some floor tiles down all the way around and go around the top walls Seal it off. Your base is completely built and sealed. Alright, now you need to get your Y gaps up. So we'll start that. Just to keep in mind, every side is going to be the same. I will be using symmetry just to help speed up the video. All sides will be the same, so just follow the steps on the side and you'll be fine. To each corner. ceilings, three windows in front with a triangle for your turret, just to keep in mind, if you upgrade these two frames to stone before placing your roof, it will not place, you will have to upgrade these to metal or leave them twig, so go ahead and place those, up to each corner and do your two windows, and Two groups. Looks like that. Next, we we'll drop down to these corners. We we'll go up two walls. Then a window. You want to go up one wall here. I like to. 
place a twig build up right here so I can build. One more wall here. I'll delete this and then climb up the base again. Once you're up here, I'm gonna do two half walls. Like so. Drop down. Get two squares. In your square frame. Next you wanna do one of above the two, your two double frames. That's four bow. Two half walls. On this side, you place a double door frame here. The other side has to be a single door so you can keep an eye on who's coming in and out. Cap it off with the ceiling tile. Do your roofs on top. I like to use the square ones. You got your shoot done. Next, you want to hop on over here. This will be where your bedrooms are. So you have a door frame here. Two walls. Seal it. Another wall. Right, now what you want to do, you're going to come to your shoots, your hop-ups. you come up to your hop-ups each side. You want to go five frames on each side. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Hop up and do two frames on each side. So one, two, and you're going to do one, two on this side. And then fill the rest of them with the windows. And then let you seal it in with your ceiling tiles. Next, you're going to sign. Go all the way around. Seal this completely in. Like so. Next, you want to do two outside. And this will be the same on all four sides. And the half wall to each of them, like this. Triangle doors here. Three half walls. Triangle for your turret. Three windows and two triangle wraps. I'm gonna make sure that your square ceiling tile is on these half walls and not to your window frames. It slides like this. And then you can go ahead and place your triangle roofs on the window frames, not the square. You want to do three double door frames like this. Go to your ramps. Place two square floors. Windows all the way around. Two double door frames. Seal this off. And then you can seal your roofs off. Just like so. What we need to do to get a quick shoot are pretty easy. So you just put a triangle frame. Of each four of the corners to the triangle roofs and you're going to have to ladder up and when you go just below the first frame on each white cap you just place a triangle frame on each just like that all right now that you got your roof done Main base done, wide gaps. You want to work on your open core. Pretty simple. So with two half walls. Half walls here. And do little walls in the middle. I'll put a wall in the middle. Two loop rooms. Another wall. Half wall. Half wall there. Sign. So one wall, two half walls. Put two ceiling tiles on the upper half. So, this is where you want to put your boxes and lay them down. I recommend doing that before doing these, or at least making these triangles twig so you can break them later to place your boxes. So then you want to place your ramps, place them like this, leave one loot room open so you can put your TC down and your vending machines behind it. I'll show you how to at least do that. The other ones are just your standard loot rooms, the triangles, and the square on top. Same thing on this side, two triangles, 
Two like that. One of these. Your turrets go up here. I guess I can show you how to place one loot room with boxes. So I just place them like this. Pretty simple. If you've never done this before, really, really easy. I like to leave one of these on the top open for um, repair bitch so you don't, so it doesn't have to be a uh, thing. So you want to do a twig build up here and place your turret. So how you do this is you come on this back sign, place this as close as in as you can, try to get it as even as possible. Sit down. Go behind it with your vending machines. Same thing. Try to get it centered and even as close as you can. It's one. Slide the other one. Once you get that done, then you can place yourself. Put your two boxes up top. For this, place a half wall. Place your ramp. Sometimes ramp can be kind of tricky. Place that. I like to place this first and then go and place my boxes. It's pretty easy. Take this window brazier up and you can throw your boxes in. Real easy. Just like that. So for the batteries and the things, I'll show you how to do one of these real quick. So I always want your locker to go on the right, the side that's closest to outside. So you just slide your locker as far as you can to the right, which will allow you to place your battery in. Nice and snug. Place your bed. This is probably the hardest part about the whole build right here. So make sure you place these before upgrading. So these will be stone. Make sure they're all hard side facing outwards or it will not work. You want to get this as close as you can to the wall. You want to close your door. You want to get these furnaces as close as you can to this wall. close to the back wall close as you can to the mixing table you should be able to place all these this is the hardest part of the build is being able to place this and you don't have to if you want to you can just seal it off over here seal both these off make a loot room you know however you want to do it it's going to be the same on all sides again it's all symmetrical so we'll do this build out twice. If it's too fast to slow it down, or pause, uh, but it's pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two half walls, wall here, wall on the back side of that, and wall on the back side of that. Come back, we're gonna do the window. Two roofs here, two double door frames here, a window here, and a single door for a vending machine here. Place a double door frame here, and a double door frame here. So let's completely in. And here, we we'll do two low walls, and then cap it the square. And for this front one, so we're going to Two half holes here, here, two frames, Oops. two windows on top of the frames, do your two triangles, like so. 
half walls, square root, same over here, half walls, square root. Now you can come up here, seal this in, half wall here, all the way around like this. with the uh, double door frames wherever you want to do it your triangles here here's your wall and it'll be the same on all sides there you go you built the new generation of 4x4 the oasis <laughs> <laughs> 